16. So Miss, tell me about your background in sport. So I've pretty much been playing sport for as long as I can remember. Mm -hmm. From the moment I could walk, I was running around, kicking a ball. Um, mostly my father was influenced. Mm -hmm. um, so I've competed in various sports, athletics, cross country, uh, both those at national level, and then hockey at regional level um, when I started playing at 11. And, uh, so a, bit, a little bit later on, uh, playing rugby, which I was introduced to at um, 16, and then going on playing England rugby, playing for my country, um, and then yeah, just playing at Twickenham, right. and yeah, just. So tell me about that. Tell me about when you went out and uh, tried at Twickenham. What was it like to go out the field? It's all a bit of a blur now because it was, I was 22 at the time, no. so we're talking quite a few years ago. But I just I do remember sort of arriving there at the gates on that first that first morning and just walking through the gates and just thinking. And then we were all in tracks, it was just walking around, walking around the pitch. It's an empty stadium, with just the rugby team in it walking around and just just sort of in awe really of the space <laughs> and uh, how empty it was and the echoing. Um, as we sort of screamed and it bounced off all the, all the terraces. Um, but actually the pitch, and the one thing I remember about playing in the pitch is just it's how, how flat it was and how short the grass was mm. because in girls rugby or women's rugby at the time that you didn't always play on the best yeah. pitches. Um, so the pitch was absolutely perfect. So when, when you uh, went to Twickenham, was that the first time you represented you? No, at the time international rugby wasn't played on Twickenham. Right. So I actually was representing my university in the Lusa finals at Twickenham, playing in Loughborough. Right. Um, we actually lost the game narrowly by five points. Um, I actually didn't finish the game because mm -hmm. I, I got kicked to the head and <laughs> was unconscious and stretched off the field while oh, I was right. in, in the doctor's room yeah. when the final whistle went. So I didn't, wasn't actually aware of the score until much later that evening. Wow, experience and a half that one. Okay, so going back to ultimate sport now. Mm. Um, you came in September, you were new. What, uh, where, where do you see Ellsmith's girls' sport going? I've got, I've got a lot of ambitions for the girls' sport. I can <laughs> see that there's an awful lot of potential in the school. Um, the school already um, punches well above its weight mm -hmm. as far as uh, when it competes against other schools locally. It's, it's particularly because of this, we, we don't have massive numbers at Ellsmith. Mm -hmm. you know, we're a relatively small uh, independent school, but we are one of the strongest independent schools the team sports in the age term, uh, particularly in Shropshire and Midlands, for example. Um, so I think that we can do more though. I think they're, you know, by attracting, you know, more girls into the team sports and um, increasing numbers and also just um, changing the coaching philosophy a little bit about how the, how the, uh, how the hockey happens, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Hockey is uh, my main focus at the yeah. moment being in Midlands term. But just seeing how we can you know, squeeze out that little bit more yeah. um, through just looking at how we're coaching, how we're okay. the fitness, and how we're really approaching the sport here. Okay, so that considered then, what do you think makes the sport at Ellsworth special? I think it's the number of opportunities for the girls. Mm -hmm. um, the girls get four hours of, sort of compulsory sport a week mm -hmm. um, in the main team sports, which is hockey's term, level next, and then a bit of cricket, rounders and tennis in the summer. Um, but on top of that, there's all the individual sports like the mm. athletics, the tennis, the yeah. swimming, um, which happens as well. And so there is something for everyone. Mm. You know, badminton, we, we just, we've got such a variety. Yeah. And so whether they're participating on a recreational level, mm. or whether they're trying to perhaps be one day with the next Maddie Lynch in mm. hockey, then there is a pathway for them, whatever, yeah. whatever they want to achieve. Mm. So um, this evening we've got this social Monday night hockey, mm -hmm. which is something that you and Mr. Hurts have organised. Yeah. And obviously I'm very, very grateful for that, so we can talk about hockey this term. Um, how do you think, uh, from your point of view, that helps their training and might enhance their... Well, the, the first 11 are a strong team. We've mm -hmm. made it through to the Midlands finals um, for the second time wow. this year in two years running. So they are a strong team, but they are at the top of the school, and when they're training, there isn't, there's no one else better than them in the yeah. school to so I think the hope is that on the Monday night they'll get to play with the boys socially, mm -hmm. but 
but the boys will be faster, they mm -hmm. might be fitter, they might be able to pass the ball harder, mm -hmm. hit it harder. So those things are just going to stress the girls a little bit more. But also make it, because their training is actually quite serious, um, so they're doing quite serious training. And also yeah. just to bring that fun back mm -hmm. into the game for them. I'm hoping as well that we'll do it next term in the Lent time, so where the girls will predominantly be playing netball. And so it would actually give them an opportunity to play netball yeah. out of season, out of school season, but, and just have more mm -hmm. going on within the school. Well, I know, but we were talking about the boys' team about it the other day, and, uh, and talking about how we might be a little bit more stronger on the ball, run a bit faster, but skill wise and County wise, we're not nearly as home um, as the girls, and so it's a similar to almost where both of us benefit yeah. from each other. So I'm really excited for that. Really good. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much, Miss. Thank you for meeting with me. Uh, that's been the fourth installment of Joe's Meets. We've spoken to Miss Marshall about uh, girls' sport and how she's hoping to uh, progress, uh, progress girls' sport. So thank you very much for watching and keep, keep up to date on the YouTube videos of Joe's Meets. <laughs>